the whitetail herd went. 2020 EHD, your deer are dead. God damn it. Um, so it's relatively new here in the Hudson Valley and that's probably why most people haven't heard of it. I've never seen anything like that, so I was just, I was dumbfounded to tell you the truth. We haven't really seen anything. We're gonna have to wrap it up and reassess to try it again in the morning. These are the cursed hunts of 2020. So in the morning, we went to that little section of oaks that I knew it was producing acorns, and we found signs of life, but it was basically nothing but gray squirrels. In hindsight, maybe we should have focused on hunting small game and filled up our freezers with squirrel. I would say a portion of the deer herd that still was kind of healthy because there was a bunch, always a bunch of does in this little oak ridge, so we went and checked out that, and sure enough, uh, we jumped a couple does going in um, when we dropped off Johnny to go at his spot and then Andrew and I moved uh, down the ridge and we jumped a couple more um, and uh, that was all we saw that morning until on the way out we packed up on the way out but we came over a dry creek bed and we found a dead seven pointer uh, in velvet uh, that had been taken by the EHD. So this is what we're dealing with this year. EHD, killing all the deer. Hardly seeing any sign in the woods coming across dead animals, dead deer. This is the fifth dead deer that I found. I'm surprised I haven't found more just because I know the amount of deer that were in here and now seeing like that there's hardly any left, I just expect to find bodies everywhere. And this is typical of where you find the dead deer too. We're right next to a brook on a water source. This is where they're coming to drink, but it's like warm, muddy water. And that's what the midges breed in. That's where you find them when the deer come to drink and they get bit in the face and they die within like 36 hours and the deer come to the water because they they're hemorrhaging and they're 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 overheating and they want to try to cool down so they're trying to find like cool areas and they just succumb next to a water source typically <laughs> there obviously are deer that are making it through it's not taking out a hundred percent um, you know, because we saw, what, four deer this morning? Four, possibly five. Four or five deer this morning in this same area. Um, you know, I'd have to assume that this buck got the disease in this area as well. So either those guys didn't get bit with an infected midge or they've got some sort of immunity, which can happen. Hunting this area is, was more out of curiosity. You know, it would be nice to I, you know, hunt a, hunt a buck, but you know, I just wanted to get in the woods and see how bad the damage actually was or is, and um, it's pretty bad. It feels like a ghost town compared to what it, what it used to be. I've I've smelled plenty of dead deer, and uh, whether it was shot or a car wreck, and those dead deer do not smell right uh it is a different kind of smell and it's uh, it was ripe that's for sure and then when we we stood back up uh to look at a possible fresh scrape that was still in the area there was a doe and a skipper coming in um, so there was still healthy deer in that area um, and that was good to see at least but it's always a shame to see a, a dead 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 deer especially a dead nice buck So I'd been holding on to my best spot, waiting for the better weather conditions. And this is the spot where I found all those sheds. It's where I had the most success with the licking branch and the mock scrape. And my hope was that there was still some decent bucks in the area and our luck would finally turn around. You know, you did your homework um, because the only deer on the whole damn mountain went by the only two hunters in the woods. 
and I heard a, a twang. Because uh, I was like, what was that? 